Welcome to Old Man Gaming, the series where I nerd out on video games from my Gen X youth starting with early platforms like Pong and the TRS-80 through today with Xbox and PlayStation. In this impromptu episode, I'm going to show you how I defeated Fractured Burden, the last Jedi Survivor side level that took me longer than a few tries to beat. This is being recorded on Sunday, June 4th, 2023, and I completely finished Jedi Survivor on Friday, including all trophies. It took me about 106 hours total over five weeks and was a really great time. As always, I won't tell you where to find Fractured Burden, but it took me about two hours of different permutations to finally conquer it. I'll let the footage play through once without comment before playing the second time with running commentary. In the last video on Horrors of Bagano, I talked about how late game changes to Force Slow rendered Cross Guard difficult to wield, but in this level I found it useful. As always, I'm trying to separate attackers, and I start with this Wampa like creature. I got in a big Cross Guard swing before he grabbed me and threw me around a little bit. Then I switched to Double Bladed and try to hit these guys at the same time with a Force Throw. 
I get in a ton of trouble, but I'm able to escape. I switch back to cross guard and get in a big swing on the second attacker. Get in trouble again, but then I'm able to trigger four slow. And I get in a series of attacks that takes both of these guys down to about 75% health. So I've used some stims, but this is a decent start to this fight. Now the Wampa-like creature is a little more aggressive than the other two, so fleeing has the effect of separating him. And I have a good series of parries, counterattacks, and a throw. It gets him below half health before he's able to grab me again and I've got to flee another time. I then spend a few seconds here being a little bit disorganized. I've got him attacking me from multiple angles instead of from the same angle. I'm having to dash and run my way around the arena just a little bit here before I can organize myself again. It's just too difficult to keep track of them when they're attacking you from multiple directions. To try to keep them in front of you is the way to go if you can at all manage it. I finally get the Wampa to get me. I parry him with cross guard, stagger him, and hit him with a big one. He's now under a quarter health. I'm able to trigger four slow, and I use that opportunity to, to attack the second one. When I get in a force throw here, now both of them are under a quarter, and I'm in a really good state now. The Wampa actually probably just has one more hit, but he hits me with an unblockable. I've got to burn another stim, and I get a little disorganized again before I get in that final hit on the Wampa. The second guy is down to about one hit as well. But now the third one, that rhino-like creature, finally starts to get involved. So I've got to heal again, try to reorganize. I get stuck on his nose there, trying to dash around him. But I know if I get one more hit in on this guy, I've only got one to worry about. I finally get it. Now it's just me and that rhino creature. I've got three heals left. I'm able to quickly go into four slow and work on him a bit. I get him quickly down to a quarter. I just exchange blows with him. I'm willing to take the hits on that unblockable for just a second there before I escape. He hits me with another one. But now I've got him down close to a half. I need help. Two more heals left. I switch back to double bladed. And now when I face him, ah, he hits me with that rock. But now when I face him, I'm just gonna burn through him here pretty quickly. With just the standard double blade attack, but I'm gonna chain him after healing, and you're gonna see how quickly it melts him. I get the final animation and I'm completed. That's gonna be it for this video. One of the things I really love about this game is that there's so many different play styles that you can utilize here to take down different enemies. I was pleasantly surprised that I had to go back to cross guard and that that was actually helpful after I thought it was rendered useless by that late game for slow change. But that's what worked for me, and hopefully you find some things in there that help you as well. If you enjoyed what you just saw, you can help out the channel by liking and subscribing. Thanks so much for watching.